Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. And first of all, I want to wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year in advance. This is because this is the last video of my channel for this year. And all the other videos that I have planned to post after this video will gonna be in the next year only. So this is the last video for this year. So Happy New Year in advance. And now let's get back to the topic. So today I have this headphone from One Audio, the One Audio Pro 50, which costs around 4,000 rupees. This is a really good product, like really amazing product. This like totally amazed me and I, I, I just don't wanna say too much about it right now. You go through the video, see all the things and then decide for yourself if it's amazing or not. So I won't be talking any further and without any further ado, let's get started. So starting off with the box and its contents, this is what the box looks like. Inside you get to see an aux cable with a 3.5mm jack at one end and a quarter jack on the other. A 3.5mm to 3.5mm aux cable which has an inline microphone. Some paperwork and lastly the headphone in this leather like bag which feels so smooth when you touch it. Okay, so that's all for the box contents. Now let's check out the headphone. By the way, the One Audio Pro series have three different headphones, but I went with the topmost variant because I wanted to see what's extra in this. And that is not the only reason I went with it because they have used this high protein memory foam that they call. And the other thing is that they have fine tuned it as like to give a perfectly balanced experience so that is the reason like I wanted to use a properly balanced headphone not a bass boosted or treble boosted headphone so that kind of an urge like made me purchase this one and if you ask me what's the difference between them then the brand has mentioned the difference on their website here's a snap of that so starting off with the build quality this is very well built the design is very simple and minimal but not too basic. You get to see some spiral pattern and one audio logo on the ear cups and silver lining on the edges. The cushion covers are stitched with red colored thread to make it stand out. The inside also has a red covering and you get to see left and right indications in a very stylish way. The cushions are very soft both of the ear cups and the headband and the whole structure is very well built. Most of the body is made of plastic but it's quite durable and the adjusting mechanism is also very solid. It will get loose with time but not anytime soon. You get to see two different holes for using two aux cables that are provided with it. And last but not the least. You can fold the headset completely and take it with you wherever you go without taking too much space in your bag. This is a wired headset so you gotta connect the wires. But the unique thing is you can connect both the wires at the same time. Like if you want to be on a call from your phone and at the same time wants to continue with whatever you are doing on the PC, you can do that. Like if you want to be on a call from your phone and at the same time wants to continue with whatever you were doing on the PC, you can do that. You just have to use the inline microphone aux cable with your phone and the quarter jack aux with your PC. You can also connect a different headphone by connecting the 3.5mm jack of the other headphone to this headphone. So it is a useful feature even if you are someone who doesn't do sound mixing and all. Okay, now let's talk about the fitting and sound quality. It is very comfortable. If you don't have very large ears, then the cups are of right size to accommodate your ears perfectly. The head cushion and the ear cushions both are very soft and are perfect for continuous usage. This cover material is also very smooth and soft to touch and won't make your ears feel itchy. However, I will say two things about the fitting and comfort which are not good. 
The height adjustment should have been a little big. I use it while it's fully extended. So some of you may find it small depending on your head size. And one more thing is that at first, in the first week of your usage, it will feel very tight. But with time, it will adjust and hold your head without any unnecessary pressure. Last but not the least, this weighs about 400 grams and is not very heavy for a headphone that is so well built and has these thick looks. You can wear it for multiple hours, although the brand recommends to take a break after every two hours of continuous usage, or it may cause headaches later on. Now let's talk about the sound quality. Now I've divided this sound quality into three parts. First is the music listening, second is the productivity work, and third is gaming. So let's start with the music listening. This has very crisp and clear mids and vocals. And the brand has also mentioned that they have given special emphasis on the mids and vocals to deliver a crisp and clear experience. The bass is also very good I will say. It's not bass boosted but there is a good amount of bass. Perfect if you are using it while watching movies. While listening to music, if you are someone who likes a perfectly balanced sound experience without any boosts, then you will say, this is perfect, the bass is perfect. But if you are a bass boost lover, then you may feel like that the bass could have been slightly better. Now coming into the productivity part, if you are someone who does video editing or sound monitoring or something that requires precise and accurate audio output rather than the boosted output, then these are a perfect go-to option being in a budget. Because sound monitoring headphones comes at a same or generally higher but not any lower than this price point. This have a perfectly balanced output and a perfect for productivity work. Now if you are thinking what if you use it for casual gaming, it is a very good headset, the sound is adequately punchy and overall the sound is perfectly balanced. So you will definitely not feel it's bad or will disappoint you in any way. But I will not recommend this for gaming because there are dedicated gaming headphones in the market which is specifically designed and tuned for that particular task. A gaming headphone will provide a better gaming sound experience. But this won't disappoint you that bad if you are thinking of using it while gaming. So now the choice is yours. So to conclude I will say this is a headphone I can I can't see has any competition at this price point. I can undoubtedly say that this is the best headphone under 4000 rupees. Now I might be wrong if you have used any other headphone at this price point providing better sound quality then please let me know in the comment section. I will be very happy to buy it for myself and test it out and compare both of them to let you guys know which is the best headphone. Oh and one more thing, if you are interested in buying the One Audio Pro 50 then please use the given link. It will help me to grow the channel because when you purchase through this given link, a small amount of commission is rewarded back to me so that will help me to grow the channel. So with that said this is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and if you did then please subscribe to my channel and as always I will be catching you guys in the next one until then peace out.